Well, today was the day I finally got my backhoe fixed. And the whole problem with the whole thing all the time was this valve right here. This is the control valve. I ordered a new one. So I couldn't get this one apart. There's like a little pin you take out, so I just ordered a whole new. It was scored. If you ever have trouble, look at one of these. If it's if you got scoring on the valve, I seen a video where a guy had rebuilt. They use these in uh, they use these these same reversers on boats and skis. And I watched a guy that rebuilds them. And I wasn't getting any pressure when I hooked air to mine. I should have took a video of that, but it's been crazy. When I hooked, I took pressure to the pressure port. And then I had gauges on, there's two ports where you can monitor reverse and forward. I wasn't getting any pressure through. And the, it always worked fine in reverse, but not in forward. Well, I think what happened was when we had it apart, we messed with that valve. That valve was stuck as a little, there's a spool inside there. For the cutout, when you push the button, if you want to cut it, if you want to put it, it's a bypass, it dumps at the vat. I think that's, when we when we got that spool freed up, it screwed something else up in there, plus that valve being scored, uh, caused the problem, and I wasn't getting any pressure. I only get like 10, 5 pounds of air, got 130 at the pressure, and only like 5 pounds to the reverser, so... I didn't put my gauges on it now, but I put the new valve in and it works perfect. But, it still is not cutting out with the push button. I gotta look at that. I thought that would work now. It never worked. I thought that would work now, but uh, it still don't work. I can show you here real quick how she works. Maybe I don't have that thing plugged in. I'll have to, like, I'll have to stop and see if it's actually getting power. If I can hear it clicking when I'm running it. But... Um, it sure runs good. It never worked this good in forward. That valve being bad was a whole problem. We'll go right in forward now, no problem. We even got the brake on this going. <laughs> forward. Reverse. Look at that. You push it good now too. I got my forks on. But... It never used to do that. It would never slip the tires. It would like drag. But we rebuilt the clutches and everything while we were doing it. So it's, it's a brand new reverser now. But that valve, it wouldn't move at all without that valve was stuck. That spool inside there, and that being that that uh, whole valve was scored, replacing it was a good idea. It's 400 and some dollars, but at least I got a backhoe that works now. Hey, oh, look at that, that's awesome. It never used to do You always had to rev it up to get the move. Yeah, baby, I'm happy. I don't know, Max is happy too. He was working his head off that bit ago. I don't know where he went. Where'd Max go? All right. But, yeah, this is the best it's ever ran. That's got to figure out why the push button ain't working. I'll figure that out. It might be... It might just be, uh... Out of adjustment, but... I was pretty sure it was going to work once I got that fixed, because that thing never worked. But... I hope this helps anybody in the future. If you're not getting any, the, the video I watched, the guy had a pressure gauge on the pressure port, and he would watch the pressure, and if it was leaking, he would lose pressure. But I had, there's a port, you, there's reverse, it's even points of arrow, reverse pressure and forward clutch. And I wasn't getting any pressure through either one, even though I was at 150 on the pressure side. I, I'd like to check it now, but I'm, not, I'm sure it's working good now. That's never worked that good. Anyhow, I go find my dog. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll catch you next time.